Thanks, Taylor. Saturated ground and high winds means the threat of downed trees significantly increases. The winds, gusty winds at times, heavy rain could also impact school buses, and that forced schools to close or go virtual tomorrow. White 31's Xavier Wary joins us live now with details on potential dangers and the decision-making process schools went through to try to figure out what to do. Nikhil and Dan, every single school district in our coverage area either decided to go to uh, remote learning tomorrow or they will not have school at all. Knowing that there is a potential for wind gusts to possibly reach 60 miles an hour, it's going to be imperative that everyone stay indoors tomorrow if they can help it. When they're talking about uh, down trees and down power lines, uh, you know, it just sort of changes the game a little bit. You have to think about more than just the storm front that may come through. Chad Holden, the superintendent of Muscle Shoals City Schools, says there will be no school tomorrow due to the threat of severe weather. I think anytime you've got a risk, uh, certainly with what we would call our most precious resources, uh, our children, uh, you know, I, I think you don't uh, mess around with that. Part of that risk comes from the fact that we've experienced a lot of rain already and wind speeds are expected to reach 60 miles per hour, which means... A lot of trees could uh, lose, lose their holding root structure with the ground and, and topple over. Joey Douglas, the owner of Joey Douglas Tree Service LLC, says it's best to have your trees inspected at least once a year and encourages people to do so before major weather events like tomorrow, because tomorrow the expectation is that the trees will fall. If you're kind of concerned about a tree on your property uh, during a storm, I mean, isolate yourself on the other side of the house or center of the house away from the tree. If a tree does come down, Douglas encourages you to hire a professional because tree removal is dangerous. There's so much uncertainty when trees are down. There's factors and where limbs can be stressed and, and bowed in directions where whenever you're cutting, you don't realize that a chain can pop back and, and hit you. High winds are a concern, but they aren't the only thing to watch out for tomorrow. Uh, we've had a lot of rain. You know, so I'm sure we're still going to continue to have some flooding issues. Uh, that's, you know, that's another issue if you're in your car, you know, uh, you're subject to encounter situations like that. You know, the old saying, turn around, don't drown. Why would you even want to expose yourself to that if you didn't have to? Yeah, now if you need any tree removal service, uh, Douglas Tree Service, they are operating 24-7. And, and if you need any weather advice or if you just need to know if your school is closed or if they are operating remotely, just go ahead and visit our website, waytv.com. All of that information is already posted. I'm reporting live tonight in Huntsville, Xavier Wary, Way 31 News.